Hi, I'm Josh, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Today we're going to tame a bunch of, um, tame and breed a bunch of, um, Megalosaurus. But first for that I'm going to need some air conditioning to hatch the eggs. As you might have heard, the electrics are working. Let's make a few air conditioners to start off with, and I'll make a few more off-screen. The base is taking shape quite well. Check this out. I've already made some fridges. And like I said, I've been laying wires. <laughs> My plan is to make a um, another level on top of here so that I can um, put the eggs on top of there and they'd still get hatched. Yeah. This 3x3 three three is going to be a uh, another level higher, and there's going to be ramps on all four sides. I'm making some serious progress here. This thing should be able to hatch a lot of eggs. I'll just claim the ones I want and kill the ones I don't. It's going to be nice. Also, I'm going to be making some more tranquilizer darts. Not just any, but shocking tranquilizer darts. I need more venom, so I need to go to the blue zone to make a bunch more shocking tranquilizer darts. Yeah. I'll store them. Three, two, one. I'll store them in the uh, fridges. That way they'll still stay good. You catch me in a moment of action. Remember this gun? Turns out it works. Yeah, I'm uh, gathering resources to start taming uh, Megalosaurus. Yeah. Currently the main thing is wood. I want a, tr a bear trap, a large bear trap and wooden gates, because apparently those worked for Syntax, so I'm going to copy Syntax method. Yep. One or two large bear traps should do, as well as superior kibble, which is the only type of kibble I can make in any quantities here. Well, and some other stuff. So, oh, I think I'm going to make this at the workbench. Yep, a large bear trap. How about I make a second one? I can, if I grab 20 superior kibble, I can probably tame two megalosaurs. I'm not entirely sure. And I've got a bunch of shocking tranquilizer darts already. Yay. Uh, I've been gathering some wood. I need to gather more wood. But, you know, I saw a big scorpion monster, so I just thought I'd uh, intercede. Uh, dinosaur gateway and dinosaur gate. Yes, please. I need f stone, thatch, and fiber. Well, I have that. The stegosaurus is pretty good for gathering both wood and thatch. It has modes for it. Good, good. And fiber. Let me guess. Not enough. Great. At least I got enough stone. I'd like four wooden... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dinosaur gate. Four, four wooden dinosaur gateways. Hey, you! Hey, chill and I, please chill. Right, so we're getting started on this. I need some more fiber. And a bunch more wood, which is presumably my, all my reserves. And for some reason, I put a mushroom in there. Yeah, I'm going to need more wood. Give me a sec while I sort this. Or other, I'll see you in the blue zone. Well, I found something. A Megalosaurus. Level 150. 
I'm going to lure it into this cage. I'm going to lure it into this bear trap. Oh, yes. Why do I have a second bear trap? Because I'm hoping to kite another Megalosaurus through here. And then I'll store the original one in a cryopod. Clink. It seems to be ready. It doesn't th trigger on me, so this will be perfect. As long as I don't fuck it up. Is it light? Yeah. Oh, careful now. Hey, buddy. I may 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 not have already ran from it, which is why it's currently standing still. <laughs> oh fuck! Run, run, run! Oh god! I put my uh, Carquinos on passive. Oh, it dodged. Great. Oh, that's unexpected. It'll be fine. There we are. It's not fine! It's not fine! Don't grab me, don't grab me, don't grab me, don't grab- Oh, yes. This will require a bit of manual re-engineering. Oh, and I can't grab it, right. Leave! Yeah. Great. Hmm. Actually, no, no, no. works. Oh, it's fleeing. Good. scooby dooby doo where are you? We got some work to do now. Can't see it, but I, I know it's there because I can see a piece of its tail. Ahaha! <laughs> Task failed successfully. Have some kibble, buddy. Mr. Krabs, keep me safe. This will be a while. And we're back with version 2 of the trap. The Megalosaurus that I already got is still taming out. But I want to grab a second one already. And I've kited it here, as well as rebuilding my trap. Should be fine. Should be fine. And all I need to do is find it. Oh, yes. There she is. Already kited her halfway here. A little bit further. 
<laughs> better run, better run, not run my gun, or the other way around. Yes, yes, go. Oh, okay. Uh, this is an interesting sort of game, Kikaboo. Oh, no, no! Mustn't have that. Come on. God, she's fast. Where the hell is she at? There? Wow, this trap really doesn't work. I guess it does work if you keep their torpor low. Still, she's stuck now, so that's good. Uh, I'm planning to eventually tame a hundred of these. I'm going to be done taming them by the end of this episode, so it's going to be a long cut and a lot of days of filming, a lot of games, days of gaming without filming. So if you would be so kind, uh, please uh, press the uh, like button. This is also an experiment. A call to action to see to what extent that actually helps. The idea is that, you know, if you like the video, YouTube wants to know about it, and I would like YouTube to know about it. No more, no less. See if that makes a difference. All right. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna wait until these two uh, mega. I'm gonna tame those two. Okay? They're not bio waste. They'll be fine. And I'm gonna box them both. And uh, I'm gonna un unbox Mr. Krebs and have him ready to defend both the tames and me. Uh, yeah, good. Well, see you back at my base probably after some more rebuilds. Probably in the midst of some more rebuilds. In preparation for some other stuff, I'm going to be upgrading my base a little bit more. I want a, um, what's it called again? A chemistry bench. To more easily make polymer and such things. So let's go, make a chemistry bench. I'd also like a, a grinder, which is going to be a little bit more work to get the parts for, but I'll do that soon. Gathering all that crystal is going to be annoying. I haven't needed any much, any much crystal except for gems. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to put this thing over here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put my fabricator over on the other side. Yeah. Do -do -do. Hey Presto Magico. Ta da! It took a while, but the uh, fabricator's been moved. Also, check this out. It's amazing how dark things can get if you check the settings out right. Yeah. Still pretty cool though. Isn't that nice? <laughs> right. Let's make ourselves a grinder. This took some metal, as you can see. 3,000 metal ingots. 2,000 crystal. Now what's the grinder do? The grinder destroys objects that you got from crates and turns them back into, well, usable materials. This looks to be not perfect. A little bit further to the left, please. Thank you. Does this work? Yeah, it kind of works. Yeah, it actually works pretty good because you can stand here then. How about I demolish this railing? 
and then I pick this thing up. Yeah, yeah. A little bit further that this way. That way it makes for better access to the uh, to the grill. Yes. Yeah, you can still stand here, but you're discouraged from doing so. And this is more encouraged. I like that. Yeah, uh, so, let's, uh, yeah, I'm going to regret this. This thing is expensive, so it'll take me a bit of uh, gathering to uh, make a new one if I didn't get it quite right. Now I'm contented. Now I'm contented. You can go pretty much everywhere. So I want to show you what it does. In the dark, dark, dark. All this old equipment, I can destroy it. Most of it. Let's try the glow sticks. Let's try the pike. Uh, let's not bother with the torch. Or the rural rat saddle. But this other equipment, yeah, I could definitely destroy it. Secondary sword, secondary pistol, 170 damage. And this thing does 180 damage. Yep. Secondary rifle, I'm keeping in case I get killed. Secondary sword, mm, tertiary sword is not needed. Good. As you might have noticed, I get to get a second, uh, uh, well, a new sword at least. All right. Does this thing require like power, electricity? Ugh. Yes, it does. Let's grind everything. Nice! Uh, organic polymer. That's subpar. I need to freeze that. Oh, it doesn't go in the freezer. Interesting. Whatever, I'll just craft something with it. Pretty cool. And the glow stick don't work. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Back to breeding. Check this out. I'm uh, breeding a bunch of bolt dogs, and with this setup, I can get any mutation I'd like. They're all level 200, and their stats are near perfect. Check this out. These are the stats for all of them, and eventually they're going to make a baby, and then another baby, and another baby, and one of those babies is going to be level 202, and then I'm going to use that baby to get a, a bigger line of mutations going, several lines of mutations. Up to 20 mutations for every stat. And as you might have noticed, I have a lot of megalosaurs. And why do I have so many megalosaurs? Because I may or may not have used some minor, minor inducements to make it a little bit easier. But the fact is, if I'd spent 100 hours, I would have done the same thing. But now I've spent 10 hours doing this. And I've got like 45 of them. And I'm going to tame 50 more. And I'm going to sort the st stats out. I've already got some uh, very high health ones down here. She's got a health of over 9,000. I'm going to see if I can't find anything that's even higher. And the same thing for stamina, and for damage, and for weight. Like usual. And then I'm going to tame 50 more of these bastards and do it again. Let's sort out the best few ones, and then start breeding them like I'm currently breeding the uh, bulb dogs. Now the real work begins. I've selected the four strongest stats for my megalosaurus, and one with low stats to put things like oxygen, food, and speed in later. I've already done that with my bulb dogs, and I'm currently uh, um, gathering a few mutations. Now this one hasn't passed its mutation on, which makes me feel a little bit sad. Yep, you're still... Oop, darn. Still capable of mating. Yep, yeah, so just a bit of a cooldown. And these ones are about to hatch as well, aren't they? Yeah, it's a matter of seconds. I want this one, this female, to pass its mutation on. 
uh, to a male so that I can impregnate a bunch of other females and pass that mutation on and stack it maybe to level 202, 204. Now all of these build dogs don't have a mutation which is interesting because I used a mutant to get them all pregnant. So not a single one of them has passed on the mutation. That's unlikely. Whatever. It's a slow process. I want to stack a second mutation on top of the first one. If it's the same mutation, it's going to stay in the breeding line. If it's a different useful mutation, like range and regeneration, then I'm going to use it as my personal bulldog and retire, and by that I mean kill, blue. For now, it is a simple matter of using the Karakinos to just bash down on any infants I haven't claimed, which is most of them. And now I'm going to do the same thing to these guys. So, with these air conditioners, I am now capable of hatching some of these eggs. And then the infants will come on out. And there will be a Carnokinos waiting if it isn't exactly what I want. So, these particular babies were not up to scratch. They, uh, they got their mother's um, stamina stat, but they were males, so I can't really do much with that. So, sadly, they're going to have to go away. Nice and simple. Reminder, these are fictional creations. They are not real. They're Tamagotchi. They are Pokemon. They are not actual animals. For these okay so here's my method you see all these infants some of them are level 202 uh, one of them is level 200 so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna claim all the baby ones yep. and then select the ones that are correct the ones that have the Actually, not a one of these is to my spec, but one of them might, might have something interesting. So let's have a look at these babies. This one, his mutation is from his father, so that makes sense. He had the same uh, charge regen mutation as his father. Still, he's just a clone of his father, so I don't really have any use for him. This one is the exact same. They're probably twins. Uh, these. This is a female who has a mutation from her father and it is the charge regen again. I don't have a use for that. I want them in the male line. Now that green one's looking interesting. It's male. It's got a... That is you, right? Yeah, it's, it's still got just a charge regen mutation. I want either a second mutation or a different mutation. And this one is female, another one with the charge region mutation. So ideally I would want level 204 instead of level 202. And now comes the greedy, the cruel part. All dead. And we are breeding for the next match. In a bit. I'll give them some time, time to cool down. Yeah. I have condensed the stats of the Megalosaurus to this perfect creature. 98,000 health. 15,000... Uh, 1,500... 9,800 health. 1,500 stamina. Very low oxygen in food. 5,500 weight. Uh, well, 50, 550 weight and 470% melee damage, which is quite high. What I'm going to do next is breed it once again with this very low stat male. 
to hopefully get a, another few females with this exact stat, exact stat number, or even lower, as long as they have these four relevant stats, and a male with this exact stat number, so that they can start breeding. And then I'll start putting them on shelves to mass produce them. And any male castoffs are going in my army. A temporary army, in order to claim a rock drake. But that's for next episode. Oh, look at this. I've got triplets, which are all level 204. Now, I don't know... Give me a sec to pull up the secondary menu. Don't know if they're increased uh, regeneration stats. Uh, s stacked with this new mutation. Let's see. Charge regeneration 872. No. It's not a relevant stat that got boosted, but it's blue, so one of these guys is going to be mine, as my new blue, because, you know, color is a thing. Behavior, stance, passive, obviously, behavior, fall distance, lowest, you're cute. Um, yeah. However, all your siblings and all your friends are going to get smashed. Because you, they're not good mutations. You, however, are a passable mutation. Got him. Good. Hot dog. Dead dog. Yep, that's a hell of a thing. Anyway. You need food. Let's call you Blau. Hey! You're my new blue. You're staying here for a bit to grow up. And real blue is getting, uh... Let's go with retired. Alright, back to breeding. Witness my glorious dino breeding machinery. Hell yeah! Cool, right? So I pick up all the uh, eggs. Currently I've got a male with two melee mutations breeding all these females. I'm going to turn this off so they stay in sync so that I can batch open these. As you can see, they're opening in batches. Now let's see if I can find one that's higher than 178, as in one that's level 180. There is not, so I'm feeding this to one of the expendable ones. I've got six expendable megalosaurs that I'm eventually going to be taking into the trench. But in the meantime, I'm going to be leveling up their health and their melee damage and a bit of their stamina. I've also imprinted all the expendables. So while I'll be uh, leaving them there, um, it will be, um, they will be very, very tough. Oh, well, when I'm on, on them. Imprints only work when I'm on them. I just came back from a trip to the red zone. And look at what I found. Hell yeah. I've got more gas balls than I'm ever going to need. Okay, back to dino breeding. Okay, well, I've got a bulb dog level 210. And I've got my... Um, Megalosaurus is up to melee plus 8, level 190. Its melee stat is currently at 588, which is quite nice. Quite nice. Um, I'm going to end this episode here. I've already do, done some good. I built a, a second set of hazard gear and repaired the one I had. Don't know where my Helena skin has gone. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I do know this though, next episode we're going to go down into the trench, the red trench, we're going to use the expendables to secure it, and we are going to get ourselves a rock drake.